Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to Retro Stuff TV. And today we're looking at air coolers here in Australia. We're going to see what's on the market, what brands they're out there. Um, we're going to pull them apart and show you how they tick. But most importantly, do they actually work? So stay tuned. Yes, well it's that time of year again, we're heading into summer and it's already getting up to 30 degrees already and we're not even in the middle of it yet. So what do you buy for your money on the cheap in your local retail stores? Now today we're looking at two stores, Kmart and Big W. Now I'm not endorsed by any of these companies or their products. Uh, nobody sent me these, so just to put that out there, I'm not getting paid for any of this. These are just general reviews for you. So what do you buy it there? Well, you can start by going down the old common route of one of these old fellas. You can buy them at either store for around about $15, cheap and cheerful. But seriously, when it gets to that really hot temperatures, you don't want to be putting up with this prehistoric junk because that's what it is. Uh, times have moved on, so let's get rid of that. Exactly. So let's move on to the coolers. Right, first up is the brand from Big W, which is the Onyx brand. Such a very inspiring name for a product. But anyway, this one has a 10 litre water tank. It has the front vents. And on the top, you've got your remote control. You've got your functions there, which is a button for your swing, mode button for sleep, natural or normal. Three speeds, of course. Your timer up to four hours. And of course, your cool button to switch on the cooling system to make you cold. So here we go, now let's see how you put the water in, you take the top off the top and you fill this tray here with your icy cold water and it goes down to the tank in the bottom and you put your ice cubes there so it can drip on the ribbon at the back and keep things cold. Now unfortunately with this model there is no hatch on the side of this to open up to put in ice cubes or ice bricks to keep this really 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 cold like other models do. However, there is a way that you can do that, so let's take a look. So let's have a look at the back of this machine. Now all these water coolers work the same way. They have a water tank at the bottom, they get picked up by a filter and soaked with water and the air comes through and cools you down. However, these two machines today work completely different in their operation. So let's take a look at this one first. Now on the back you've got this screen thing here you can take off, which I have no idea what it's for because it's not a filter, maybe it's for little fingers, I don't know. But as you see here, this filter here is not actually a filter you can take out and clean. No, this one is here permanently in the machine and this rotisserates into the water and it soaks the water and it drives it up and down. So let's show you what it's all about. So let's switch it on. And as you can see slowly there, this filter is now moving. So that's just got to pick the water up. Once this filter is all soaked, that's when you'll see the cooling elements into it. Now, I did say before, there was only one way to put water in here or ice cubes or an ice brick into this machine. However, I have found another way and I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, before we do this next step, let me uh, let you know that in the instruction manual, it does not inform you, it does not tell you to take this fil filter out and clean it at all, or open the back of this device. Uh, so please, I'm only doing this just to see what's inside it, and to see how well I can improve the cooling of this. It's up to you if you do this or not, but make sure your power is switched off first. Now this has three screws at the back, one, two, three, so let's take them all out, and the screws are out. Once you've done that, this easily just comes out. You just pop the top like that, and it comes out just like that. So you can actually clean this filter, as you see how it works here. The water gets soaked up on this, and it cools it down. But let's look inside this machine. Well, as you can see, there's bugger all in there. 
all this empty space. Nothing. They could have put a flap out there to put an ice brick in this thing. But all you got is your motor and your motor here for this one here. So anyway, since we've got this open, let's just sit that up there like that, right? So we're going to actually put a big ice cube in here and some water and fill it up. Okay, so this is an experiment. I froze this big lump of ice cube uh, last night. Right, I'm going to put this in here. Right, so um, hopefully it improves the cooling and a bottle of icy cold water. So, but normally when you fill it for the top of the tank, it comes down this tube and fills it up. So once again, you don't have to do any of this step. I'm just trying to see if I can actually cool this machine uh, any better than what it is. So let's fill it up. Okay, so, yeah, nice and cool in there. And on top of that, do have some extra ice cubes. So let's put those in there too. There we go. Right, time to put it all back together. Cool on, we've got the water in there. Now let's fire up this beast. Now at the moment I've got it on low settings. I've got it on the swing mode, which will isolate from left to right. But these ones here, you've got to manually adjust yourself. They are not automatic. Now I've got it on the cool function. Now, when you put the water in these things, they are not instant. They take about 20 to 30 minutes for the whole thing to get soaked, uh, to get the moisture in the air and all that type of stuff going. So give it about 20-30 minutes before you can actually see the benefits of these machines. Now I've got my big ass thermometer here today and in this room we've got 27 degrees on the thermometer. I don't know if you can see that properly, but it's got 27 degrees. So what we're going to do, stick this in front of the machine for about half an hour and come back with some results. So before we switch it on, we're going to stick that big ass thermometer in front of the cooler and as you can see it's about 27 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit on there. Now of course this is why we buy these things, we want to know if these work and actually cool the room down. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's switch it on. We're going to have it on high and on the cool feature with the swing. So I might stop the swing so it can get an accurate reading. So anyway, let's give it about 20 minutes to see if it actually works. There we go, 20 minutes has passed and on the old thermometer it has dropped 4 degrees Celsius, as you can see, we're up to 24 degrees, when it was about 29, and about 62 on the Fahrenheit. So for a nice small room, it is cooling it off very well cooler up is the Anco cooler from Kmart. This also claims to be a 10 litre machine and has the same functions as the other one with your 3 speed swing mode, 4 hour delay, cool feature and your normal natural and sleep mode and you also get your remote control. So here we are with the Anco Air Evaporator Cooler from Kmart. This one is $89.99 and it is cheaper than the other one. However, it is half the size as you see, more compact, but it does claim to have a 10 litre water tank in this. However, the other one says it's got a 10 litre water tank and that's double the size of this one. So maybe this is a 5 litre tank. Who knows, but it's definitely not as big as the other one. And maybe they're all 10 litres and, well, maybe it's a marketing thing. I don't know. Maybe it is 10 litres. So anyway, when you get this home, try not to be disappointed because another cue to the marketing department here have got it right to sell you these machines. On the box, it doesn't show you much but that one picture and your controls up there and your remote control. So when you get it home, you may be disappointed to find out what lurks beneath here. Now you're thinking this is going to be a nice big vent to let all the air out. However, you will be disappointed to find You've only got like this little tiny quarter vent hidden in the corner here to let all that air out. So none of this is a vent, it's just blocked off in there by a big bit of plastic. So as you see, the vent size compared to the other one is minute. 
and uh, yes I can see why they sell it on the box like that for because you can't see it before you buy it so besides the disappointing vent grill here in the front let's take a look around the back and see what's going on now this runs completely different than the other system that you just saw this does not have a conveyor belt system for your filter um, this has a filter that sits right here I have taken it out removed it for a reason but I'll show you that in a minute why now this runs on a pump instead of soaking it in the mesh uh, which this is a far better system so what it does it pumps it here as you can see here there's your pump in your water bowl pumps it up in the machine and it drips it down through the honeycomb which sucks all the moisture out and cools you down the bucket itself is pretty easy to get to you can open it up like that it won't come out that's a safety feature put your cold water in there your ice cubes your bricks everything like that so I like this idea um, at least you don't have to take half of it apart to put an ice cube inside so that's a great idea and it's very small and compact now the other thing you can do with this to get it really more cool is you can douse the filter with water and then put it in the freezer for a couple of hours so let's see what it does so the filter for this one now you don't have to do this but I have seen other people do it on smaller coolers which that's what the filter looks like is the honeycomb now what I've done is doused it in water, put it in the freezer for a few hours and it's come out like a nice little very cool air conditioner ice block. So that just clips in there like that. The idea of that is to get as much coolness out of this machine as possible. So in the drawer we're going to put some more cold water in. But before we do that we've got our nice ice pack to put in there. Again, another advantage I like about this machine is you can do this quite easy without mucking around. And of course some uh, ice cubes. <clears throat> there we go, and we'll get our cold water. That's good to have a couple of bottles of chilled water in the fridge for the next day because uh, believe you me if you were getting into like 35 degrees 40 degree heat in the summer you're gonna want to be cool there we go you don't have to fill all that up I'm only halfway doing it just to show you how it works so let's close all that up and there's a lock on the back so it doesn't spill so let's turn it on and see how cold it gets Okay, before we switch it on, we've got the badass thermometer sitting there and the room has gotten a lot hotter. It's about 28, 29 degrees Celsius and about 81 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's switch this machine on to see how many degrees it can come down and cool the room. So we're back after 20 minutes and the proof is in the pudding as they say. So this one is definitely running a lot colder than the other one. As you can see there by the thermometer, we're down by 6 degrees. Yes, from almost 29 degrees down to 22 in the Celsius range. So that is a big difference for a cooler to come down that much. The last cooler is the Onyx Mini Portable Air Cooler Purifier the same brand as the first one that we reviewed now this is also a big W product and it comes in at $39 the branded name ones the more expensive ones are about $70 so that is a bit of a good money savings if this actually works so let's get rid of that don't need that so what do we got so on the front we you got your on and off switch your three speed fan speed and your LED lights now it doesn't light up the whole case, it only lights up that strip there. But hey, it's a little feature that they didn't have to put in for the $39. On the back, you got a mini USB slot, your fan, and of course your grill at the front here, which you can turn to your desire where you want it. Now how this works is completely the same as the others. Well, not completely the same, but the same type of theory. This one, you take the front grill off, that so yeah it's just a grill and inside is your filter and your tank now all the others you can fill the water up from the top of the tank which is very handy but this one you can't so maybe it was cost cutting so you slide all that out and you will have three pieces that's it 
you've just got your fan inside that one. Now here's where all the action happens. Now, before you fill it with water, which this here is your tank and there's your filler cap, douse this under water first because that's what makes everything cool is these thins. So put that under water, soak it first, just run some water and then fill your tank here. Now on here you do have a tank meter guide to show you how much is left in there. So that's basically yeah, the three pieces to this one little unit. Once you've done that, slide it back in the case, just like that. And you put your grill on. Now they've put a safety feature in with this. If you take this grill off while it's running, it will completely stop. I don't know why, because the fan is in the back and you're not really sticking your hands in anything mechanical. But anyway, that's a safety feature. So moving around the back to the USB slot. Now here's one thing you'll discover. This is not your standard phone charger USB slot which everybody has in their home. No, they decided to use a completely different one just to throw you off uh, buying more cables probably. They probably just want you to buy more cables. But it does come well with one included in the box. However, if you have a Samsung Galaxy 10 or higher which has these different phone charger plugs in it, these actually work. So it is the same connection USB drive that you'll find in a Samsung phone. Quite odd. But anyway, let's turn her on and see what we got here. So, the minute you switch it on, it automatically comes on to fan speed one. Just gonna lightly touch it for two, and another one for three. So it does put out a fair bit of power, but it is only for a personal space. You light here on the side. You can change it to any colour you want. I mean, they didn't have to include this for the $40, but hey, it's a nice little touch. There you go. So all there's left to do with this one is to give it the cool test. So after 20 minutes, as you can see, the temperature has dropped quite a way. It has dropped about 7 degrees from where it was when it started. We're down now to about 22 degrees from 28. And we're sitting just on 65 Fahrenheit. So does this actually work? Yes it does, but it's only good for personal space. Well, there we go. That is my review on these three cooling machines for sale here in Australia. So let me give you some final thoughts. After using these two, three machines, uh, these two in particular, now there is a lot of difference in them in the temperatures. This one cools a lot more than what this does. That's probably because it has the honeycomb system in it instead of the belt, belt filter system in it, which it drains and stuff like that. So as you saw from the test, this one does cool a lot better. However, the speeds on this, the highest speed on this, I think is still rather slow and it's not that powerful. It puts out about medium power from this one. So this gives a good blast of cold air. This one is like a medium blast, but it gives out icy air. So, you know, which way do you go? This one will be more sort of suitable for a small bedroom or an office, um, as having this one in my other small office does cool it down really good. And being a small compact unit, you can put it up on a shelf, you can put it down, you can put it anywhere you want. Uh, regardless of the small vent hole coming out of here, it does cool better than this one. As for this one, this is good for cooling a larger room, and even though it's not as cold, but it is still cooler and does bring the temperature down. So, what would I recommend? I mean, they're both pretty good. Depends on what size room you want them for. As for this little fella, now I bought this because I've got a couple of cars, and one of them is nearly 30 years old, and its air conditioning system has gone kaput. So I thought, let's give this a try. Uh, as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm going to take it round in my car, giving it a bit of a test drive to see how well it performs. And after doing that, with all the doors closed and the windows up, roof on, plug it into the USB port in the centre console, and to be honest, it does cool things down in the cab in these nice hot Australian days. So if you're looking for a cheap alternative to cool your car down with no air conditioning unit, plug one of these in. Seriously, it helps quite a lot. 
Anyway, there we go. That is my final reviews on these cooling machines. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll be back with some more on Retro TV. See you soon.